when the actual treaty was being crafted, they were worried that the, the, what was normally the reason for the treaty, terrorism offences, could somehow become reclassified as political offences. I mean, you, you may remember during the Irish Troubles, we couldn't get IRA terrorists deported or extradited uh, from some countries, Ireland and others, uh, because it was seen as a political offence, a, a battle between the state. And I suspect that's why. But that's not an excuse. And my view is there should be. And one of the, op one of the opt outs that should exist in it is for political offences, because I think, I think that would probably, I'm not entirely sure, but it would probably get Assange off the hook in terms of the current case. Um, uh, and certainly should be there, because particularly when dealing with a state like America. I mean, so much of their legal system, uh, as I say, is politicized from, you know, from, its, from its membership to the way it operates. Uh, and we should be very, very wary of that. Whenever you create an extradition treaty, what, should, what the presumption is underneath it is there's some equality of justice between the country the individual is leaving and the country the individual is going to. And if that's not true, you have to correct for it. And one way you have to correct for it is to ensure that political charges are not brought.